Good Wednesday afternoon, Royals. I'm Nick Miles. And I'm Vaishana Badula, and this is your school newscast for March 8, 2017. Today's announcements are sponsored by Catherine Shealy Photography. It's not too early to start thinking about booking your senior pictures with Catherine Shealy Photography. Schedule now and receive free hair and makeup with your session because you deserve the senior pictures you've always imagined. Our handwriting can range from cursive to print, big to small, sloppy to neat. Let's see how it influences who we are. Here's a segment by Nick and Grinder. There has been a direct correlation between the way a person writes and their personality. For more information, we went to teachers who see different types of handwriting every day. Well, we get many different papers in here from all students in, in all different disciplines. Um, we never know on any paper, whether it's on Blackboard or whether it's a written paper, anything about that person really. We don't know if they are um, from another country, maybe English is not their first language and they're just learning. Um, we get students who um, maybe aren't really trying on their papers and they're just doing it the last minute just to, to get a grade. So maybe they haven't taken the time to proofread themselves and to check for you know any mistakes. Um, we get strong papers from students who have spent many, many hours on their papers as well. So we never really can, can judge a person's writing. Everything today is so much faster and so people want so much more immediate. They don't want to wait for it. They don't want to think about it. So even in writing, something that should go back and revise and do things over and over to always change and always make things better. I don't think that happens because students live in a immediate, fast-paced world and they want everything done and they want it quickly. When we interviewed a student, he also noticed that having sloppy handwriting relates to him being more disorganized, whereas people with neat handwriting are more organized. For your writing info, this has been Nick Miles and Grinder Cindy. Applications are now available on the HC High School website and in the guidance office for the next SAT prep class. This class will help the students prepare for the May 6th and June 3rd SAT prep class. This class will close after the first 50 students turn in an application. The class of 2018 Parents Night Out scheduled for Saturday, March 18th has been canceled. It will not be rescheduled. Thank you to all who signed up and helped. There will be a political discussion meeting today in Mr. Mayor's room, J224. All students are welcome to attend. See you then. The next meeting for the Stigma Free HSC Club will be today, after school in Cafe B. All are welcome to attend. The mayor, as well as the police and fire chief, are planning to attend as well to discuss the impact of mental health on our community. As we get closer to April, National Poetry Month, Spoken word artists, start preparing your original piece for this year's Mudsock Poetry Slam. The slam will be held on April 19th. Performances should be no longer than two to three minutes. More information will be coming soon. There are plenty of colleges visiting HSC next week. Check out the HSC High School website for all of the schools visiting. Over the past couple of months, students have been putting hard work on the school musical Oklahoma. Here's Max Carlson and Callie Luger on a segment A lot of factors go into the shows that we pick for both the play and for the musical. One of the factors that we consider is the different varieties of shows that we've done. We've not done a big book classic musical like Oklahoma in about five or six years. And so Oklahoma is a, a title that everyone knows, even people who hate musicals and hate theater. They know Oklahoma, they know Oh What a Beautiful Morning. And so it's certainly a title that has name recognition. And it's also just a really good score. It was the first real musical in terms of the musicals that we know nowadays. It starts with auditions and we go from auditions and then it becomes callbacks and then callbacks become rehearsals and rehearsals just go for a couple months. We go through blocking, we go through music, we go through choreography, we go through a lot of things and then we have to uh, put all of that together with all the costumes, with all the props, with all the lighting and the sound and everything. I'm one of the student directors of Oklahoma and basically what I do is I write down all the notes and the blocking um, and the vocal inflections for the actors and then I um, am, able to, am able to help them remember the things. Be sure to stop by Oklahoma this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. in the Leonard Auditorium. Tickets will be sold at the door and at lunches. You could also go online and pre-order your tickets. For HSC TV, this has been Kelly Luker and Max Carlson. 
Freshmen, sophomore, and junior spring sports athletes, if you would like to earn one PE credit participating in your sport, sign up for the Alternative PE program. Pick up an application form from Guidance or print the form yourself by going to the HSC website. These forms are due back to Guidance by March 24th. No late forms will be accepted. Before we go, here is your quick edit about melanoma awareness for today. Next week, HSC Key Club is having their Melanoma Awareness Fundraiser this Friday through next Friday. T-shirts, sunglasses, air tan vouchers, and wristbands will be sold during all lunches. You can dine to donate at Handles on Wednesday the 15th and Dairy Queen on Thursday the 16th. Proceeds go to Outrun the Sun, which supports skin cancer awareness and research, and the Shelley Link Memorial Scholarship. Here are your Spirit Week days. Friday the 10th, Hawaiian Day. Tuesday the 14th, Superhero Day. Wednesday the 15th, Key Club Day. Wear blue and gold or a Key Club shirt. Thursday the 16th, Melanoma Awareness Day. Wear black for support. Friday the 17th is Royal Pride Day, so come on Royals, let's support Melanoma Awareness and stay safe in the sun. Have a great Wednesday, HSC. Have a wonderful Wednesday, HSC.